Now we're going to discuss a little bit about our shopping cart, a very simple process in which you can sell your products online using PayPal. So here's how. Click insert, go down to cart and click on product. Now once you click on product you'll be required to put in a PayPal account. So I'm just going to say info at website Dot com. Obviously this has to be a real email address because that's the way you get paid so I would be very careful with this one. So make sure that you put in your email and then once you do that you'll notice that a product drops onto the page automatically. Now there are a couple of ways that you can edit this product. Very simply go over to the top left hand corner and click edit, edit Gidget or simply just double click. Now when that opens up what happens is, is you'll see it says product name double click to edit and then it has a price etc etc. To edit it simply click onto the product you'll notice this is the image path that we're using for the image. Now let's say for instance that we're going to sell a product so I don't know let's say this coffee maker or something you'll notice that I've selected a coffee maker I'm gonna call this the cool coffee maker <laughs> there you go and uh, the product ID 12345, the price of this will be $119. It better be a good one for that much. Uh, and then the shipping, $599. And I'm going to change the description, but I think you get it here. You know, cool coffee. Whatever. And then we'll hit apply. Now, that's done. Watch what happens. I'll click done, and you'll notice now that the product has been changed and it's draggable, so you could place it in any place that you want. You can also scale the way the actual uh, button sets up, which is kind of cool. Now, there are a couple of options that are allowed here. Click onto the product, and you could say, product details, I want a product teaser. So I just want to be able to put the cool coffee maker, the price, and a button. So this allows you now to make a very condensed version of your shopping cart. Oh my goodness, I have spelt coffee wrong. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and correct that. And there you go. Well, isn't that nice? Okay, so that's one way of doing it. Now, let's go ahead and add some additional products to our Gidget now. So we'll double click and let's go into the Gidget and say add a product. Now I'm going to select what that product is. So let's say, oh, I don't know. Let's say a, a cup of coffee, whatever, is what we're going to call it. So cup uh, FE, and uh, we'll say one, two, three, four, seven, and the price for this is five ninety nine. The shipping is two dollars, and cup of coffee. There we go. And now you'll notice that there are two here. Let's add another product now. And let's say we're going to sell, I don't know, let's sell these coffee beans, whatever. So you know, FFE beans, whoops. And uh, we'll call it a product ID of whatever and a price of $3.99. Shipping is $2 and beans. And let's apply that. Now we have three products that are listed. Watch what happens. And so you'll see that all of them now are listed left to right in a horizontal view. However, if we go down to product details, notice how it changes now to where they're one on top of the other like this. So honestly, I like both, but it really depends on the type of product that you're selling. But this is a really quick way of doing it. Now, let's move on just a little bit more now. And you'll notice that I am currently in page mode right here. Now what I'd like to do is, is I'd like to put a view cart in the template so it applies to this page, right? So currently right now we're in the coffee beans page. So let's go ahead and publish this now. And I'm going to show you one other trick before we let you go. It's insert and then we'll go to cart and then we'll go view cart. Now I'm going to drop this on here for view cart just to show you. But on the view cart section here, what you want to do is to have it show up on all pages or you can have it show up just on this page. And so what happens is, is that you go into preview mode and say for instance the customer is purchasing and doing whatever they're doing and they're adding to cart and they return back to this page and they want to be able to see their cart and also at the checkout they could go click on view cart and it takes them directly over to PayPal where they can complete their shopping experience. But here's what I like to do. Whenever I'm building a, an e-commerce website I'll take the view cart and I'll actually place that inside the template. Notice we're in page mode here so I'll go edit template and then when I'm in edit template I'll go insert cart view 
move it into its position here. I don't know. Let's put it here. That actually looks kind of cool. Yeah, so there you go. Boom. And then let's publish that, right? Now let's go back to the page we were on. Just simply click Edit Page. It will remember where you were before. And we can uh, delete the one that was actually on the page. And there you go. And so what's so cool is, is that View Cart now becomes part of the entire website. So say, for instance, we actually preview this now. And we go into preview mode. You'll notice that I clicked on Home Page. There we are. Isn't that the coolest? So now you understand how the shopping cart works. Very shortly, we'll put together a video on the Google checkout as well. Look forward to that here shortly.